<clears throat> Alright guys, Black is here. I'm making a video downstairs. It's like early in the morning. The light, sunlight hasn't come up yet, so that's why I'm making a video down. I don't feel like waiting. Because if I wait, I'm going to lose my thoughts. Okay, I left a comment on a video. I will put a link to that video. A stupid truck driver, and I mean just that, a stupid truck driver was driving a semi-dump truck. A semi-dump truck is a track and trailer where the trailer dumps. Okay, this driver came down a hill it was a school bus putting off kids. There were people stopped behind the school bus. There were some people stopped going, coming back the other way. It was a two-lane road. This truck driver could not stop. So he hit his brakes. He hit his horn, his air horn. He blew the air horn the whole time. And he went around the cars that was parked behind the school bus. He went around them and he turned he went between the traffic coming back the other way and the school bus. He he didn't hit anybody. But it scared the hell out of quite a few people because there was a pickup truck going back, you know, going back behind him. That pickup truck backed into another car trying to get out the way. So he caused an accident because he was a stupid truck driver. Now, somebody left a comment and tells me that something about the, the brakes rubbed together and they failed for a second. And the person said that he knew that because that driver was his father. I don't know if the guy told him the truth or not. I clicked on the channel like somebody just started a YouTube page. I don't know if he told him the truth or not. But I will say, first of all, his father is an idiot and the apple don't fall far from the tree. I say that because why in the hell would you want to claim an idiot for your father? You know, but again, I it's it's just turned well, it's June with eleven, and July, August, September, October. In four more months, it will be seventeen years. I've been a tractor trailer driver. Okay, I. Don't drive a truck with bad brakes, all right? And brakes don't fail. As much as people want to pretend like they do, they don't fail. The way brakes are designed on a track and trailer, they don't fail. They go bad, they wear out, and they sometimes get out of adjustment, but they don't fail. You know, you don't leave your company in the morning time, you do a pre-trip, everything checks out. Your brakes are perfect. You go down the road an hour later, the brakes fail. That don't happen. The way they are designed, that don't happen. Now, what happens is the brakes get out of adjustment. And the driver, it don't happen all at once. It happens over a period of time. And it can sneak up on you. But again, it won't sneak up like that. If a truck has good brakes, when it leaves the company, it's going to have good brakes the rest of the day. There are some times when you drive a truck or I pull a trailer and the brakes will, well, first of all, when I leave the company, I'm loaded. Usually, when I leave the company, sometimes I leave empty. Now, there is, there is somewhat of a case where when you leave empty, and then you go get a heavy load, your brakes may be ineffective. But if you are a good driver, you can find that out before you leave. You know, Yes, a loaded trailer is a lot harder to stop than an empty trailer, but you can figure that out. It, doesn't, it does not take very long to figure that out. Now, again, I've said this. In school, they taught us that you're supposed to Check the trailer brakes by pulling the trolley lever. It's a lever inside the truck that activates nothing but the trailer brakes. And you should not be able to pull off. That's not, that's honestly not a good way to check. The best way to check is to go down the road about 35 
miles per hour, pull the trailer brake. Not all the way back, just pull them like you were trying to stop without locking up. When you are empty and you have good brakes, that trailer should be able to stop the whole truck by itself. By itself, on dry ground, it is. It should be able to stop the whole truck. So if you do that and you have pretty good brakes, when you put a load on that, you're going to still have pretty good brakes. Friday, I come in, I'm pulling my normal trailer, right? When I left, the last two weeks I left, I was pretty loaded, and I noticed that I had to step kind of hard on my brakes to get the truck to stop. Now, a week ago, I noticed it, but this week, I really noticed it. And then, I remember one stop, I unloaded about 10,000 pounds at one stop. And when I started to drive the truck, the brakes all of a sudden are, are strong again. I realized, damn, 10,000 pounds made that much of a difference? I think it's time to get my brakes adjusted or something is wrong with the brakes. And then my last stop was actually a pickup and I picked up about 18,000 pounds. Now the truck was able to stop when I stepped down on the brakes, it would stop, but I had to step down on them a little too damn hard. And I'm like, you know what? It's time for me to get my brakes adjusted. And then when I got to the company, I had to drive the back road because of traffic. And when I got to the cup, there's a lot of red lights. Uh, it's near, what is it? Um, Highway 124 from Lithonia to um, Snellville. There's a lot of red lights, a lot of stopping and going, a lot of people jumping in front of you, slamming on brakes or whatever. I didn't have a problem hitting anybody, but again, I had to step on the brakes too hard. Now, when I got to the company, I noticed that the trail, I mean the, the, the tractor brakes in the back were smelling. They were overheated. They weren't smoking, but they were I could smell it. And then I went to the trailer. I didn't smell the trailer brakes at all. And I'm like, yeah, the trailer brakes need to be adjusted. But I wrote the trailer up and I'm hoping they adjust them. Uh, if they don't, am I gonna drive the trailer? If the trailer is safe, I will. But I'm hoping that they adjust the brakes. I mean. The thing is, I'm the kind of driver, I don't wait until it get real, real bad and then write it up. I try to start early because I don't want it to get that way. I don't want to come down a damn hill and have to stop and have to blow my damn horn and swerve around track to keep hitting the school bus. That's not going to happen to me because I'm not going to ever let it get that bad. But again, that dr truck driver in that video is an idiot. He is a freaking idiot to drive a damn truck with bad brakes. You know something else I'm gonna tell you? Again, I drive in the country. I'm, I drive in the country. Uh, everywhere I go, country, Alabama, country, Mississippi. I'm not saying the whole states are, I'm just saying I drive in the country. Even when I, um, George, I went to, Fitzgerald is south of Atlanta, way south. You, you drive through a lot of country to get to the place I guess you could call it a country. But again, every, pretty much where I go is in the country. That's where they put the places we go. And why did I bring it up? I use a lot of back roads. You know, it's probably worse in the city, but I don't know why I brought that up. But whatever. Uh, all I'm saying is that truck driver is an idiot. And brakes do not fail. Good brakes. Good brakes do not just fail. I just <clears throat> can't 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 say it no other way. Anyway, this is uh, Black. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them. And uh, you guys need to quit lying on my on my channel. You know, people ask me why do you always remove people comments when you lie? I remove your comment. And I know it's hard for you all to believe this, but I'm smart enough to tell when you lie. Right? Like I said. The guy who said that's his father, I can't tell whether or not he's lying. I, I can't tell. But I can tell his father is an idiot. Drake, y'all have a good day.